So Teddy Abrams and members of the Louisville Orchestra are heading underground to perform with special guest Yo-Yo Ma at Mammoth Cave. Uh, with more on this performance and how you can get a chance to see this big show is Molly Shore with Mammoth Cave National Park and Erica Dunsford with the Louisville Orchestra. I, I mean, I was just overwhelmed when I saw, when I saw the announcement. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, right. how? and when in and I mean right. Erica yeah like mind blown over this whole idea yes everyone's <laughs> mind is blown <laughs> I think um, it, it's going to be a spectacle mm -hmm. it'll happen in April we'll have a couple of concerts um, so Teddy Abrams our music director talked with uh, Yo-Yo Ma a couple of years ago oh, good. You're he interviewed all the him background details for, tell, yeah, tell, yeah, us all. tell us what happened so yeah, how he, this happened. he was interviewing him for a podcast and Yo-Yo was curious about a concert that he did at Crater Lake. So then that led to, hey, does Kentucky have a national park? Oh, yeah, oh by the do. way, we do. And we're going to be touring the state. And he said, hmm. So they have a project, Yo-Yo's people, call Our Common Nature. So they travel around to the various national parks. And Yo-Yo sort of sneaks in and does some performances. Um, you know, it's very organic. So we're sort of one of the first ones where it's an actual performance performance mm -hmm. so the cave will hold a lot but we're limiting <laughs> the the two shows to 500 apiece and yes there will be a lottery that has opened yesterday mm -hmm. and, and i hear overwhelming response so far right very overwhelming yes. response I'm we still encourage hopeful. like everybody right. has a chance it's a lottery yes exactly. we yeah, encourage people to sure. go to recreation.gov mm -hmm. and enter the lottery you can register for up to four tickets so it's a great, it's a great I, what opportunity. What a great thing, and I just love end of April. It's already Derby season. It yes. just feels like one of those, you know, big bucket lists. If you're in town for, if you're going to go Derby, go do this as well. And Molly, Absolutely. when you kind of got the word that, hey, you know, they're chatting on a podcast and let's try it at Mammoth Cave. What? There's no bigger cave system in the U.S. So were you like, yes, or what? It was a little <laughs> bit of both. Yeah, we kind I? of were like, this is a really interesting idea. And, you know, music's been a part of Mammoth Cave for years. Just uh, guides singing down in the cave we have an annual Christmas performance of music in the cave so it wasn't completely out of the norm but we were also like it's in our cave the logistics are a very different than a concert hall, obviously, right. of getting the instruments and the musicians and the people down there. Um, so we were intrigued. And so that's when mm. we started the conversations. And everyone from the orchestra has just been wonderful. And I think we've been partnering very well Absolutely. in uh, working out the details on this. And so we're really excited. It, it really highlights Mammoth Cave. I was going to say, it just puts you all on this national stage of this, nat it is a natural wonder, and it is something that I always tell pe people about when I visit other states, you've got you've got to visit Mammoth Cave when you come here, but to have it, I mean, it's going to get a lot of national attention. It is. It puts you guys really up there. It is. It's, it's attention to the cave. It's attention to the cave community down and around us, all mm -hmm. the counties and the towns that are just cave country of Kentucky. It's such a beautiful area that we're excited to kind of be in the, the spot spotlight and let everybody see us down there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and Louisville Orchestra will bring how many uh, people into the cave? Uh -huh. <laughs> so there will be approximately 17 musicians. Uh -huh. We'll have about 14 members of the Louisville Chamber Choir, a couple of harps, uh, four percussionists. First time having a harp in the cave. I believe maybe? the first time, okay. yeah. I, I'm going to go yeah. on a limb and say, yeah, that's the first time we've had Again, a Again, we're in still figuring out how does that thing shimmy down yes. into the cave because it's 65 steps down mm -hmm. and then once you hit the entrance what is about a three quarters of a mile to get to the area where we'll be performing mm -hmm. so um, in addition to that we have uh, a director on board who's from New York Zach Winokur who's actually sort of choreographing this whole thing and we hope to involve we're still in the process of figuring it out we hope to involve the park guides mm -hmm. so they'll be part of the performance because the whole thing is really a celebration of the place the mm -hmm. people um, so many of the guides have these familial connections and so I know Zach and Teddy are really trying to explore those and make sure yes. that the piece of music really celebrates that mm -hmm. as well as yo-yo and mm -hmm. there are two performances right two yes. performances that will be that you can enter the lottery for yes, yes. 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. on mm -hmm. April 29th Central, Central time. Standard Central Time. time. Ooh, that's very important. <laughs> that's been the biggest hit yes. is our time difference. It is yes. definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, you guys will be kind of touring all around Absolutely. Uh, the Commonwealth, kind of celebrating our natural wonders everywhere. Yeah, I mean, we'll start in eastern Kentucky in May. Um, we're going to Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and uh, Harlan. 
and then we'll have another series mm -hmm. of concerts in July and then we'll hit Western Kentucky in September and then in 24 we're still sort of figuring it out but that'll be more central Kentucky so yeah it's the full orchestra mm -hmm. so 70 people that we're going to travel around uh, the Commonwealth uh, the name of the tour is in harmony um, sort of emblematic of how we're trying to work with the state um, you know really bringing everybody together bridging this urban rural divide exactly. some communities probably have not had an opportunity to hear music so maybe others the first have time ever hearing you know, an orchestra ever right it of could this be nature and a it grand nature too yes and then in addition to that there's going to be community engagement opportunities yeah. so in every place that we go we have a community engagement team who's going to be working with the schools working with the community centers and those area those places will have ensemble performances so we're trying to oh, dig deep Erica. and make it a real impactful I always think too, moment. like how many young people will attend something like this and see somebody in the orchestra and say, I want to be a musician or see a park ranger for the first time and interact and sit there and go, I want to be this. You know, it's just that wonderful engagement community involvement that you just don't know beyond sitting and enjoying it, what else it could possibly move people to do. Yes, yes, and I think that's a big part is just bringing this to the people. That's mm -hmm. our big thing is how many people can we get to experience this and enjoy it and reach out and, and bring something different. We're, we're hoping doing this as a lottery uh, and giving everyone equal chance to get a ticket that it can uh, reach people that maybe have never seen the orchestra before or ever yeah. seen the cave before. All right, Molly, Erica, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. So excited mm -hmm. for all this. So to enter that lottery, it opened yesterday. You still can enter. All you have to do uh, to get those tickets is head on over to recreation.gov to enter.